this video we're going to look at a ratio analysis practice question. This is part one. We're going to look at the question itself, some case study material in terms of text, as well as some appendices that have got some data for us to analyse. The business we're looking at is called Isagonis PLC, and they're in the aftermarket car accessories and modified parts industry. They very much focus on younger drivers and operate out of large, out-of-town superstore style outlets. A significant USP the company has developed over the last few years has been a hybrid store loyalty and payment card system. This is known internally as Service 100 and allows customers 100 days from the point of purchase in which to complete payment. The marketing director in particular is a keen supporter of Service 100 and has strongly defended the scheme since its introduction. He maintains it's a really good USP and a good marketing tool in what is a very busy marketplace. The firm's recently acquired by a large multinational conglomerate. We don't know much about them, but they are keen to assess the financial performance of the company and whether Service 100 is financially viable moving forward. The finance director has produced a series of financial documents, and we can see these in Appendix C. So there's three elements here. We've got the company's current finances in June 2015. So we've got balance sheet, income statements, and other data. We also have some key financial performance from five years ago, 2010. And finally, we've got a small table at the bottom which shows us the industry benchmark data currently in 2015. So that leads us to our question. Managing Director is strongly in favour of continuing to offer Service 100. Analyse the financial performance of Visigoans PLC. Do you agree with the Managing Director's view? You need to justify your decision. Typical 18 mark question. Good luck.